You may have seen this scary photo of a guy sandwiched between two semis after icy roads triggered a massive pileup on a highway. Well, now he's talking about being the luckiest guy in America. He's one lucky guy. Imagine surviving this and coming out with just a black eye. All I could do is just close my eyes and and hope and, and pray that it wasn't my time. 27-year-old Caleb Whitby found himself inside his pickup truck sandwiched between two 18-wheelers. This is where he was trapped. I had enough room to, to squeak through there. And there wasn't much. It happened in Oregon as icy conditions caused havoc across the nation. Look, a car slides out of control on black ice. It sideswipes another car parked at the bottom of the hill in Yonkers, New York. Streets and highways became like skating rinks. Look out! Look out! The Today Show's Al Roker said weather forecasts got it all wrong. Be honest with you, the forecast was not right on this. We were expecting the moisture to move in after the colder air, and if you got behind the wheel, it was white knuckle driving all the way. What can drivers do in conditions like this? Most drivers try to brake, but car expert Lauren Fix says that's the wrong thing to do. And on black ice, you just skate. There's not, it doesn't matter if you're driving a truck, if you're driving a little car, you're just skating along the ice. So what's counterintuitive is to keep your hands in the wheel, a nice light grip, and to maintain the throttle and try to get two wheels, the two on the one side of the two on the other, in the snow or in the dirt. Because then you get at least a little bit of traction rather than no traction whatsoever. That could stop you from ending up in a crash like this.